Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla unboxing. Uh, this is a really special one. Um, this is the first unboxing of mine that'll go up first on uh, DTube before YouTube as a sort of incentive to have that sort of take off. As well as, uh, you may be wondering why there's two of the same box here. Uh, this is also the formal announcement on my YouTube channel of the first Cast Gunpla giveaway uh, in celebration of one year working under the Cast Gunpla brand. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway of the YMS 15 Guillen. I have a sealed one right here, as you can see, still factory sealed with an official Bluefin distribution logo all set up here. So you can also look into the description where you will find a link to the giveaway and all of the terms and conditions. Um, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this now. I'm going to warn you, my dogs have decided that now is the time they want to play. So try your best to ignore that if you manage to hear it. So looking right in the box here, you can see, uh, I will say I pre-sorted this as I do with everything because it makes it easier on me. Here you can see runner A in a sort of soft periwinkle. It looks kind of gray on here, but it is uh, more of a soft periwinkle color. Hard to tell on camera, but I assure you that's what it is. Uh, this is the YMS 15 Guillen, uh, by the way. I think I forgot to show off the, the box, so I'll use the sealed one to show it off better. It'll have a little reflection, but whatever. This is the YMS 15 Guillen here, made in 2016. Here you can see the action poses. Uh, the side of the box here, as well as some general information. I'm sorry, I forgot to go over that. I was just so excited to get into this. That's, whew, all right, well, moving on. Uh, here we have runner B1 in a nice gray. This includes a big section of the shield, um, as well as all of your internal joint components. This is a revive kit, so it has, uh, it should have generally better engineering than most of the HUC line, uh, and it is a great update to the previous GAN. Uh, as there is a B1, you can also see that there is a B2, which is just a duplicated section of joint pieces there. Uh, here we have the armoring. The armoring is in a nice navy blue. Actually, I'm calling it royal blue. Uh, this is C1, as you can tell. Uh, you can tell that this kit is uh, really blocky, and it's inspired uh, by knights, so it has a really great aesthetic going on that I am a fan of. So here you can see parts for the feet and the skirt here, uh, and the torso and back right there. Moving on, uh, we'll go straight to C2, which is a really nice orangish yellow beam blade for the beam rapier. Uh, you only get one blade, but as there's only one sword, that's not a big problem. And that leaves you with a bunch of excess here that you can save and um, and trim, or not trim, recast extra beam effects out of this if need be. Uh, I like the color of this. So I showed it off to some of my other family members. Uh, they think it looks sort of like urine, but I'm a fan of the color. Speaking of family members not liking the color, uh, I'll go here to runner D2. Uh, this is the beam handle and the beam emitter, as well as the front section of the missile pod shield. Um, so I said that family didn't like this. Uh, my mother described it as baby poop green or brown. Uh, I, I can sort of agree on that. Uh, you might want to paint it gold. It's supposed to be gold anyway, so that might be something you want to paint, but I will leave it as is. It sort of gives uh, the kit some awful coloring that I am a big fan of. I don't, like, for those of you that read my stuff, you know that ostentatious and really gross-looking colors sort of appeal to me for some reason. So uh, rounding out the colors for the shield, we have D1 in a darker red that than it really shows here on the camera. Um, the camera really washes out the colors. I'll have to figure out why it does that, but it is a uh, nice deep red 
and it is the backing of the shield here. Uh, the last of the runners to go over is r the polycaps. You have a nice big selection of polycaps here. Also, that's molded slightly wrong. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, so that's that's actually rather interesting. I've never actually enca encountered a, a Bandai product with a mold error, so that uh, is ever so slightly worrying, but we'll hope that it does not get ruined in the end. There should also be stickers in here, and since I can't see them, I'm a little nervous. Oh, I found them. Never mind. Uh, there are only three stickers. If I can ever get them out of the box, I'll show them to you. Got them. Nope, I don't got them. All right. Uh, also, you can see wounds on my fingers. These are from building my uh, Master Grade Zaku. You can go ahead and just ignore those. Um, they're where the blisters were. So here you can see the stickers. Uh, you have one, this one will go on the torso, I believe. And one of these is for the eye. I'm not positive what the second one is for, but uh, I guess we'll find out when I look in the instructions. They appear to be a, they're just uh, slightly different sized pink circles, which makes me believe it's for two different sizes of eye. However you may want it. All right, so last thing to look through is a quick look at the instructions here you can see a completed kit in all of its glory along with some interesting um in interesting armaments load out i will say um the missile shield uh that's it's sort of bad design to have thing that's supposed to take incoming projectiles covered in explosives, but hey, more power to them. Uh, here you can see some information about the Guian. Uh, here are the specifications, again, that you saw in English on the front, and some nice poses here. You can see that the hand has a lot of variance in its positioning, and it's something I'll show you in just a few moments here, as you can see it on this page. Uh, the hand actually has a section of the the ball joint that connects to the wrist uh, moves, so it has a bigger range of motion. So it allows some of the more technical fencing poses that the Guian is known for. So this is a nice full color page right here. Going inside, again, you can see the parts list. There is only one part you won't be using, and that is uh, polycap number one. But uh, don't throw that away. As I was informed, you should always keep leftover polycaps so that if any of them ever wear out, you have extras. Moving on to the rest of the instructions, you can see a nice grid layout informing you on how everything is supposed to go together. It all is fairly standard. It looks relatively nice. I will say that I'm a big fan of the Revive line, so looking at the instructions, I'm pretty excited to build this. And so, last thing to look at is the back of the instructions, if I can ever manage to close them properly. Uh, here we have more information on the weapons and poses. Uh, some articulation and gimmicks. Uh, some more information about the suit and your color guide. Uh, here you can see that these are... <laughs> this is a more accurate depiction of the color for the shield. Uh, again, I think you should probably end up painting it gold, because that's how it's supposed to be but I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm really excited for this. Uh, as I said, this is the first one that'll go up first on DTube on the uh, anniversary of a year under the Cast Gunpla name. Uh, you can go look into the description for a link to the giveaway page where you will see all the terms and conditions. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but due to shipping costs, it is only available to... Uh, legal residents of the continental United States and active duty service members. Uh, sorry for any inconvenience that may cause. It's just shipping costs a lot out of the country. So other than that, uh, go look at the giveaway. Be sure to enter and share it with all your friends if you want. Uh, all that said, I just want to thank everyone that has watched clicked on basically anything I've ever done for the past year. Um, I want to see if I can flip this. Can I? Uh, I cannot flip it to show off my face, but uh, I just want to say thanks, and 
I'm really happy with what I've done this year. So, with all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go enjoy my time with, uh, well, I'm going to have a sort of mini celebration. So, 